Hello to the world of YouTube. I haven't got really that many topics to talk about today considering I never really have that many topics to talk about and because I'm only really making this video because I haven't made videos in a while. So, first of all, you notice I'm topless. Do you know why? Because I'm English and it's way too hot I complain about any temperature in between 0 and 100 degrees. So, oh well. Uh, first of all, I have finished college at long last, I've taken, I've taken a bit time about it a bit. One of my teachers, I'm not even going to go into it, he is a prick. He is a fucking moron. He turns up an hour late and then doesn't even give us our results because he hasn't done them. Ugh. So, I still don't know my results, but as far as I know I've passed. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Although I am already into the second year, so it doesn't matter if I pass or fail this, I'm still going to be going on to the second year. I also bought this for a friend, Big Pink Union Jack, but when I got it, I liked it. It's going up on my wall. I should get some more flags. Um, so, asking, I'm copying a friend, so you see. I'm going to have them on that wall with any luck. Um, so, I've got to buy them a new one. I'm sorry. Um, also, well, I electrocuted my sister today. <laughs> God, it was fun. But don't worry, I didn't kill her. Although it was, hilar it was hilariously funny. I didn't actually just grab two wires from a plug and just jam her in the head of them. Oh no. I thought it'd be fun to buy one of these abdominal belt thingies. And my sister was talking about one a couple of months ago. She wanted to use one. I said to her, have you ever used one? No. Do you want to use one? Why? I had one upstairs. I won't grab it before I gave it to her. Her not reading the instructions or anything. Not knowing you meant to start it off with while and work up. Oh no. Oomph. She put it on to like the highest setting it's got. And at first it's not too bad. It has like a warm up cycle before the main, what you call it. And then it has a, like a relaxing bit at the end. Which isn't really relaxing but oh well. Um, so, I'm sitting here just watching her face and I'm laughing, she laughs, she gets in even more pain because she's laughing, oh that's brilliant, you'd have to be there to see it but I think, I think like the highest setting on that thing is about uh, 20, no it was about 30 I think, she had it at 27, I had it around 10 to 14 so, uh, that was hilarious. Also been tied in my room. You notice that thing just appeared. <laughs> the number plate off my car because I need to get a new one. That one's cracked. I can't sleep on my bed at the moment. It's covered in a keyboard, boxes, paper, clothes. Anything which shouldn't be there is there. So, uh, um, I've also, along the lines of that little what you call it, belt thing, I've actually been trying to get myself into shape. Hence the reason I have it. Um, a lot of people are going to laugh at me because I'm vain. Yes, I know I'm vain. I don't fancy myself, but yeah, I'm vain. <laughs> uh, who isn't, you know? I love it. So, uh, what was it? Yeah, I've been going out on my bike recently. Um, I, that bike is getting through rubbers like something that it shouldn't be. <laughs> I have practically got no rear tyre left now. I'm not honestly sure why. So, yeah. Uh, what are you going to do about it? Um, the main thing is, I wanted to make, including in this video, is last, uh, no, on Saturday when I came back from Pride, yeah, which actually instantly gave me the after holiday feeling. You know, when you get back from holiday, it's depressing. I got that from Pride. After that, it's just, no. Oh, so, that was heavy for a day or two. It took me a while to go over that. Um, so, my. When I came home, usually me and my mum, we don't talk about my sexuality in any shape, way or form. If it comes up, it's usually a five second conversation. I don't know, the last time it came up was when she asked me about my friend, Simon, which I know you're watching this, you know. I know you said you wasn't going to be watching it, but you started asking questions about my other video, with my pride video. So don't you be lying, I know you're watching them. So anyway. My mum, when I was talking, I was, I suppose she hasn't said anything more because I'm forever talking about it. Not that I'm obsessive or anything. But, uh, 
Well, I usually say, like, or she asks me who I'm talking to on the phone at night. I say, oh, it's Simon. And then they say, oh, it's Simon. And I'm always having to mention his name. I'm surprised she hasn't actually said anything. But a couple of weeks ago, she did ask, who was I talking to? I said, Simon. She said, oh, who's that kind of thing. She's suspicious, I know she is. But, uh, anyway. A couple of weeks ago, she asked me what the word fag meant. As if, uh, what, you know, what fag. Not fag as if, I won't go into it, I can't be bothered. Um, but she asked me, and I had to explain to her what fag meant, and that, that was a very short conversation. But when we came, when I came back, and I started talking about it to her, saying it's absolutely fucking amazing, they had all music there, the parade was brilliant, the stage was brilliant, the entertainment was fantastic, the atmosphere was, the dogs, bollocks, I wasn't, I couldn't shut up about it for hours, so, uh, she, it kind of sparked her curiosity, and I s went through my camera, oh shit, where's, oh, I can't find my camera, um, so, she, I started going through my pictures on the computer, which is, you know, living room, and she kind of came over and started looking at them, okay, I was trying to be a little bit careful, because I knew there were some pictures of, like, half-naked guys on there, and, I was thinking, if I put it up there, what's she going to do? So, flicking through, I have kind of purposely quickly skipped back to the beginning. So, um, I was hoping that could try and go, okay, click that one, that one, and that one, and you will avoid this one, this one, and this one. Yeah, that didn't go to plan. So, there's a squirrel, there's the stage, there's a hot big guy there. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was kind of the, the reaction which I wasn't expecting was when there was a I had a picture of like some guy in a outfit like completely half naked only in hot pants and a kind of big red stick on his back that's all he really had and it was, my mum just laughed at it I wasn't ex I don't know if that was a hey let's go oh my god my son's okay um so that was interesting to say the least but it is actually a very good feeling actually have my mum actually it's kind of the first real feeling of acceptance I don't know why I know she said she was going to be accepting that but that doesn't mean bugger all um, actually bugger <laughs> I was just reading something on Wikipedia about what buggery actually means <laughs> so I always had an idea but I was reading about the history of it Ugh, Henry VIII you're an arse um, what was it I completely lost myself now. Fuck you, Henry. Uh, Henry Ho, so, yeah, oh yeah. It was a, it's a good feeling to actually be accepted and actually be able to talk about it freely, which I've never been able to do with my mum already. There's one. Ooh, I'm running eight minutes. I better close this now because otherwise I'm going to be uploading a, for about four and a half years, which is rather bad considering I'm a bit of a tree hugger and I don't like to leave my computer on. So. I will see all you people later, and uh, I would like to thank you, all of my new subscribers and things. I wasn't actually expecting to really get any, except for the people that was on my other channel on this one. So, big thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy my videos, and PM me if you want to add me on Facebook or anything, but be warned, um, I will have, you have to have a... I will have to check out your channel to make sure first, so if I do not accept you, I apologise, but it's my own little security system I've got going on. So, I'll see you people later.